Hi everyone, this is Gifty at www.giftyetc.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about what my day looks like. Just sort of a peek into what today is going to look like when I open my planner. So, you'll see right here that I have my Franklin Covey Compact Flourish. Any Franklin Covey Compact is about this size. The Flourish is actually slightly thinner and slightly heavier than say my leather Franklin Covey Boston Compact. And so it fits better in my purse. It also wipes clean. But unfortunately, Franklin Covey doesn't sell these anymore. And the few you can find on the market tend to have little stains on them. Mine's from years and years back. And as you can see, it's in almost perfect condition. Um, there's only a little wear. Let me see if I can show you right here where I tuck my pin in. There's a little bit of wear right there. Um, but otherwise, it's in pretty much perfect condition. I did cut off my pin loop over here. And I just tucked this pin in as well. And so you can see that. My Franklin Covey is exactly like I want it. I don't think I'll be changing planners anytime soon. But today's layout is a little bit different. I talked about this on my blog a little bit. So if you ever visit my blog at giftyetc.com, you can see this. Um, and what's a little bit different? If I just open up, I'll open up to my monthlies. I don't actually need them today because I have crossed out today and already written it right here on my weekly pages. Today is Tuesday. I have a big arrow right here pointing to what I'm actually going to use today, which is just made on a piece of paper. It's just a plain piece of paper. And here you can see all of the things that are going on in my life today. Now let me show you what my layout looks like right when I open it. Okay, so right when I open it, I have an arrow on Tuesday showing me that I need to go to a daily page. I don't always use a daily page, but for busy days I do. I'm going to get a little pointer and point out some details to you. So right here for the week, on the this week page marker, I have my kids homework along with his reading words, and on the back of that, I have his spelling words. That's going to really help me because we pick him up in carpool. And as we're driving home, he does some of the worksheets and stuff. So having it all written here for my second grader really helps. My fourth grader is in charge of his own homework. So I don't even write that down. He just gets a consequence if it doesn't get done. Next are errands that I need to run sometime this week. The ones that are highlighted and checked off, I've already done. The ones with a little circle and maybe a due date have to be done this week. Since I try to run all my errands at once, I just go ahead and keep them on a sticky note unless they are very date specific. Finally, I have things that I want to do this week around my house. Um, every day I do a 15 minute quick clean. And so these are some things that I want to focus on during that time. I also want to clean up any areas that people can see in particular. So that's sort of my weekly stuff. I have some ideas for my blog right here that are coming up this week. And let's move on to this page because this page is the heart of the matter. This page is what I am doing today. And I just want to show you sort of how I laid it out so that you can get an idea of how to use just any piece of paper to make your planner work for you. So um, one little hint I want to give you is that I use both sides of the paper. The other side I used yesterday, so you'll see it's already scratched out. In order to do that and to make sure that my paper is on the opposite side as the next day, as Wednesday, because if anything comes up on Wednesday, I need to be able to write it very easily on Wednesday, I go ahead and I double hole punch. So I hole punch the outside and the inside of the paper. So you'll see that on a lot of my temporary pages. I'll just go ahead and double hole punch. I also folded the paper in half and you can see right here I just put little dots with numbers in between them along the fold and that helps me to sort of keep a neat two column setup. You could always fold it here sort of making a cross and you can make one a list of errands, one a list of things you need to do at your house 
And then here could be your times and here could be your task. It's totally up to you. You can use a fold to do any sort of layout that you want to do. And the little polka dots are just real easy. They don't have to be perfectly neat. And if you just dot them along the fold, they give you sort of lines. You could also use line paper to do this, of course. Um, graph paper is great for doing this. But I just like to use the folds because I want to kind of freeform it. So let's talk about what's on my page. So first are my tasks. These are tasks that were copied from Tuesday's area over here or that just came up and have to be done. Maybe we copy from Monday because I didn't get to them, that sort of thing. And you'll see next to each task, I have a little circle marking it to do, a little code like PH equals phone, and then what I need to do. Each of these things is listed at once in the area and I need to turn in some forms to the psychologist's office. These things must be done today or must be rescheduled or delegated, but they can't just be ignored. Next, I have my tabs. These repeat. So every day I do my dailies and I have a little checklist. Let me see if I can show it to you real quick. It's marked with a marker, so probably so. I have a little checklist of things that I try to do every day and just sort of keep track of. And once I've done that checklist, this will move to Wednesday. I have plus portal that happens once a week. It's just my kids' grades get posted on the internet once a week and trash goes out on Tuesday nights. Here's what I call my prep list. My prep lists are the things that need to leave the house with me. Um, so my work ID, my water, my cell phone, a plug for my computer, my computer, um, my meds for the morning, my snacks. All of those things need to leave the house with me. This prep list makes sure that I leave the house. Now you will see right here on the to-do list that I have highlighted and checked off some things. Those things are done. If I had deferred them, I would have an arrow instead of a check right here. If I had deleted them, I would have an X instead of a check right here. But they would still get highlighted so that the rest of the page pops. Now, because it's October, I'm using an orange highlighter, and I happen to use an orange piece of paper here, so you can't see the highlight really well. I probably won't use an orange piece of paper um, for the rest of the month, or I'll change out the highlighter, because I just can't see the pop like I can with the orange on the white. On this side, I have my times. Now, there's a couple things that have stars by them. You see these two things have stars at the beginning and the end of them? They had to be done. So I had to feed my kids breakfast and pack them a lunch. And I have to pick them up from carpool. Those things are must-dos. The rest of this can be rescheduled if it needs to, but it's really, really important, which is why it made it to my schedule. So I have time to do work, and I need to get dressed and go into the office at some point. Um, and I certainly don't want to forget to do that. Um, and then tonight, I need to oversee homework and chores at 4. And tonight, I need to cook dinner and go for a walk. Usually, I'll have a workout during the day sometime, but I have so much work to do today that that's not going to happen. And so, I put walking right down here. I have a couple of tasks that are time-specific, in particular, that need to be done at night, um, like getting out my kid's lunchbox for tomorrow or getting out his Cub Scout uniform to, for tomorrow. Um, they can't be done until after the kids had left for school and right now his lunchbox is at school. So they're nighttime specific and they're, the little H right here means they're done at home. Then I have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner kind of plan. I can always change that, but it gives me an idea of what I have food in my fridge for and what I can take care of. If I don't get to any of the things on this weekly chart, and if I don't get to any of these daily prep things, life will go on. But the stuff here I need to either get to or I need to reschedule and take care of. So this is my plan for the day. And I just want to take a moment to speak to you directly and say that if you don't have a plan for the day, you need one. It can be on your weekly pages. It doesn't have to be as detailed as mine. But you need to know that there's a place in your planner that when you look at it and you see that place, you know for sure that that is what you're going to be doing today. And if something happens, you end up in the hospital, um, there's a family crisis, you get a big work assignment and things have to be rescheduled, you can do that from the plan. 
That's so important. So if you check out giftyetc.com, you can look at some of the things that I'm doing to help you plan. And I hope you will do that. And I'll see you back here soon. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel.